like 5 a.m. And we, <laughs> I mean, it's not 5 a.m. I'm not good at one of those YouTubers who pretends to get up at 4.30 every day. It's not, it's like 7.30. Still up fairly early because this little man right here gets me out really early doors um, and we have got a lot to do today. So we're still in lockdown, still in isolation, but still I want to be productive, want to get a few bits done because we've got a lot to do. So listen, I'm gonna make this coffee, gonna make some breakfast for everybody. I'm gonna crack on and get ready for the day. Let's do this. Now, before we start any of that, I need to get changed to go do this little workout outside. You guys don't need to see that, so. And just like that, we are done, ready to go. Right, let's go outside. Weather's well, looking pretty nice, but still a bit cold, so I've got the hoodie on. Let's go outside, let's do this. Okay, we are in my back garden, ready to do some workout. So obviously no gym or anything, this is literally my back garden. So we don't have too much kit, but we got some stuff. I've got a couple of resistance bands. I've got like some pressure up bars and um, I've got a mat. I split it up into two bits. So I do some kind of like resistance training thing now. And then this afternoon we'll all go out and do like a big walk or, or something for some like cardio exercise. So doing all right, gonna give this workout a go. Set up my equipment right here. Let's see how we get on. That's right, I've got pink press up bars. <laughs> I ordered red ones, got baby pink ones arrived in the post. Oh, and we are done. It lasted a lot longer than the little cut together I'm probably gonna put for you guys. Absolutely done, destroyed myself, which is good, I need it, right? Trying to get back into fitness, trying to use this time to better myself one way or another. Gonna do some exercise this afternoon, which will be our one time we're allowed out, our exercise, our walk, our cycle. Go do that. Right, I need to get changed, get showered, get ready for work. You guys don't need to see me shower, see you in a minute. Okay, and we are downstairs in the office at the computer. So really two main things that I want to achieve today work-wise. The first one is that I am planning um, like a live seminar, like an hours long live seminar um, about how to build a portfolio, like what goes into a portfolio, what's it for, what images should you include. That seminar is for the Facebook, group i'm not going to go into all the spiel for you guys again if you want to find out how to be part of the facebook group so you can be involved in the live seminar everything go check the video i think it was like two videos ago the one which was called um what's the patreon page about that video and you'll find out everything um the seminar is on uh, next monday so you've only got a few days so if you want to do that hurry along to um to find out what that one's about Putting that together, so um, obviously I need to plan like the content of it. I want to make sure it's good and worthwhile for the guys who are watching it. So I'm going to plan that out now. That's going to take me probably a few hours. And then the other big thing for me this afternoon is that I need to find the boxes for some of my camera gear. And that is because I am selling a lot of my camera gear. The reason for that is that I've decided that now is the time to take a change um, in terms of, of my gear. I'm using my gear very, very little right now because we're all in lockdown and then right now I've, I've been intending on selling one of my 72s for a while I've never got around to it um, and right, right now just so you guys know my current setup in terms of camera bodies is I've got a 1DX um, I've got two 70 Mark II's and I've also got a 70D um, which I'm filming on right now I use that for a lot of my videos now what I'm thinking about doing is reducing right down to just two camera bodies um, and if I just did that now, that would go down to my 1DX and one of my 72s. I love the 70D because it's useful for this type of stuff, the videos and the vlogs and things, but I could just use one of my other camera bodies um, for, for video. And that gives me an opportunity. If I sell both the 72s, and the 70D, that would go a long way in terms of helping me fund a second full frame body. 
that could either be another 1DX, um, it could potentially even be a 1DX Mark II, which would certainly be good for the video, but of course the price of that is hefty. Or maybe I'm looking at some of the 5Ds, the 5D3 or the 5D4, so that's currently where I'm up to. So, so yeah, I'm going to be selling all my gear. I'm still going to be keeping one, so I'll make sure I keep the 70D uh, and or one of the 7D Mark IIs for now until I've got the second body, and then I'll sell those two so that I'm not left without a camera because I'm still taking photos of my family stuff around the house and of course we're filming things for you guys um and that's pretty much my main job right now filming stuff for you guys so i don't want to make uh don't want to leave myself short in terms of gear to be able to do that to do that this afternoon i need to find the boxes because it always makes a big difference when you sell the gear if you've got all of the original boxes i need to take photos of the gear so it can go up onto ebay um yeah and that's about it but first things first i'm going to go through and plan this seminar um i've got the photos and stuff and basically i'm going to talk the guys through like you know what's in my portfolio or i've actually kind of made a new portfolio specifically for the video which is quite cool um but of course the the actual seminar is going to be live so i need to make sure i'm planned i've got all my notes and everything um to make sure i don't mess it up as we go along so again do that for a few hours now won't get you guys just sit and watch me do that that'd be boring as i said if you want to hear about the seminar go check out that what is a patreon video and you can learn about um about where to where to find it uh those of you who are interested in that and want to know when it is it's on monday the uh, 20th of april so by the time you guys see this you've only got about four days because this is going to go live on friday uh this will go live on friday the 17th which is yeah, tomorrow yeah gonna get this filmed up um then we'll have some lunch then this afternoon i'm gonna do the e-boy ebay e-boy finding the boxes stuff so right let me crack on and i will probably see you guys at lunchtime right all that work is done got all the um the portfolio stuff set up got the seminar planned i think it's gonna be really cool i put a message into the facebook group there to ask some of the guys about some of the topics that they thought i should include got all those included so it's come together real well looking forward to doing that with them on monday right now i'm going to get some lunch have something to eat and then we're going for a family walk let's go and we are out with the lads by the lads i mean mrs sambles the two boys medium small out here doing a bit doing a bit of cardio getting our exercise in nothing too hefty from here gonna go back home gonna get those photos done for ebay i'm um, gonna find the boxes and stuff that the gear goes into but anyway i will see you guys back at home and just like that, we are back. Right, let's get on with getting this eBay stuff sorted so we can get these cameras listed and make some money to fund the new plan. Let's do this. Now, I'm pretty sure all the boxes and stuff for the cameras are in this cupboard. Like, there's like a shelf that goes up. So, gonna go searching for them. Hopefully, I find them. Obviously, I need my two 72 boxes and I need my 70D box. Uh, and if I've got it, I need the box for the 10 to 22 mil lens um, because that will go too because that's a crop sensor lens and it wouldn't work when I get another full frame camera. So let's have a look. Hopefully I can find them. Fingers crossed. Well, that's an early victory. That's one 70 Mark II box. Oh, we're rolling. That's the 70D box. That's the box for the lens, the 10 to 22. Jeez. Okay. Mixed results. So I've got the box for the 7D Mark, one of the 7D Mark IIs, the 70D, the lens, but I can't find the other 7D Mark II box, but I have a feeling I know where it might be. Now, you guys remember my old office where I used to do like all my videos and my work and stuff? Well, that is this room right here. Now, this is being turned into the nursery. The reason it's not the nursery yet um, is because little Sambles is still only four months old. So he still sleeps in the other bedroom with me and Mrs. Sambles. He will be going in here. Don't judge me on how messy this room is, all right? Because it's bad, um, <laughs> but this is it. So you probably remember, this is where I used to do the work, that this is where we've set up like the cot or the crib, something you guys might call it. Kobe's still there, but he can't stay there because there could be a risk of him falling um, when the little man's sleeping in here. This is all the mess that's left. So I'm still sorting out this room. It's like half done, right? All my stuff is cleared out. Well, no, my desk stuff is cleared out of here. My camera gear is still stored down here. But I have a feeling that somewhere in here might be that second 
7D Mark II box. If it's not in here, then I think it might be in the new office space downstairs. Let's have a look and see if it's in here. Okay, after minimal detective work, I don't think it is in here, which I think means it might be downstairs. I did, however, find, look, I've got these, right? These are some old film cameras. This is a, um, a Pentax MX. I'm doing something cool with this. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna spoil it, but I'm doing something cool with that. Um, that's my great uncle's camera, which he, um, he left me when he passed away um, a year or so ago. Uh, I'm doing something cool with that camera. That's all I'm gonna say. Right, let's go downstairs and see if we can find this box. Cause it's gotta be somewhere, right? I'm sure it's somewhere. I hope it's somewhere because it makes it much easier to sell. Let's go. Just pretend you didn't see the mess. Pretend you didn't see the mess. Okay, so we've searched down here. And you know what? It's not down here either. So I'm not sure what I've done with it, but I, I'm sure I've got it. I, I'm pretty strict with not throwing away the boxes, hence why I had all of these ones right here. So I think I've still got it. I think it's okay. Gonna carry on looking. Um, but in the meantime, I might start to, to set up and photograph the stuff that would go in these boxes. So at least I've got that done because I don't want to spend like an hour trying to find the box and then maybe I can't find it and then I've not done the photos of these. So let's crack on and do that first and then we will go from there. Uh, I always make a point of taking good quality photos when I'm going to sell camera gear on eBay. The reason for that is I just think that if someone is looking at an item that is a decent photography product they're going to know something about photography and so there'd almost be an expectation that the photos the person has taken are, are of decent quality and i think that shows that it means that the person who's taken the photos and therefore the person who's selling the gear knows about photography and therefore would have looked after the gear and so on and so on i think it, it, it creates a better perception for me so i always try and take decent quality photos so i'm going to be taking them on my DSLR, um, ironically on the 72s, I'll take them of each other's body um, and I'm going to take from all different angles, top, bottom, everything. Uh, let me show you how I've set it up. It's nothing fancy. I'm literally using uh, down here a, a piece of card which I've just got curled up against my back window here. I'm just weighting it down at the front and I'm going to shoot kind of low on from the front here. Perhaps we'll do a more detailed video on product photography at some point, but I'm not using any lights, anything like that, because it doesn't need to be that fancy. It just needs to look smart and against a white background. So I'm doing a real simple job. I'm gonna crack on, take these photos. Um, I'll set up the camera so you guys can watch me do it, see what I'm up to. Let's go, let's get these photos done. Ready for eBay. All those photos are done. Going to get on Lightroom, go through. Um, when I say edit them, I'm basically just going to crop them and up the contrast ever so slightly. I don't want to obviously edit them in a way that would in any way change the pictures for the eBay item for sale, if that makes sense. Going to do that now. Um, and then that's pretty much rounding up my day. Um, it's getting pretty warm in here now because the sun's kind of fairly low, sort of coming over that side. Pretty much there. Going to get this done and then we will round off the video. Cool, all right guys, it is a good bit later in the evening now. We've got all those photos done. Um, got some pretty decent ones, I think. They're certainly, you know, actually they came out pretty nice. Um, they're certainly good enough for me to be able to use them um, to sell the couple of items on eBay. So I think what I'm gonna be doing initially is selling uh, one of the 72s, the 70D, and then the 10 to 22. And then I will be buying either a 1DX, potentially a 1DX Mark II or maybe a 5D Mark IV. We're going to see how we go. But don't worry, you guys will get updated on that in future videos. In the meantime, if you like this video, please do take a second for me. Hit that like button. You know it helps me out loads. You know it helps my video to be more successful. It helps my channel out and you know I always appreciate it. If you're new, please do think about subscribing. Guys, thank you for watching and I will see you. I will see you on the next video.